Hey kids. So, this is a bit of a history lesson and a quiz for you. Uh, this year, Manitoba turns 150 years old officially. Now, that doesn't mean there's only been people living here for 150 years, you know that. Indigenous people, Anishinaabe, have been living in this land for thousands of years. And we're just kind of borrowing it and using it here. But, I've got some questions for you. So I took a great big walk of science today, or social studies, history. I'm gonna show you this little video, see if you can find some answers and make some interesting connections that maybe you didn't think about before with me and my four-legged assistant. Hey, I recognize this place. Why it's Malvi. So, question is, who was Malvi? And why does Malvi get a school named after him? And it sure seems weird without all of you kids here, doesn't it? So here's the next question. Uh, do you know what street I'm on? Why, it's Wolseley Avenue. So, who's Wolseley? And why does Wolseley get a street named after him too? So finally, here I am at the Manitoba Legislature. It was a long walk, I think eight kilometers, and the dog was very, very tired. So, there's this guy. Who was he? Well, there's the last name for you, Riel. His name is pretty important here in Manitoba, and his name still exists. There's lots of families with that last name in Manitoba. So, you can look up who he is as well. That would be great. All right, room 19, you got it? So, Mulvey, Wolseley, Riel. Who were they? What's the connection between them? And how did the story end? Sad hint, didn't end happily for one of them. A uh, couple, couple other numbers you might want to use that'll make this more sense of this are the years 1870 and 1885. All right, let's see what you come up with, kids. Looking forward to it.